at 11 a.m. today, September 28, 2016, a tropical storm warning was issued for St. Lucia. This tropical storm warning remains in effect for the island. At 5 p.m. today, the center of tropical storm Matthew was located near latitude 13.8 degrees north, longitude 62.0 degrees west, or approximately 65 miles or 110 kilometers west of St. Lucia. Matthew continues on a westward track into the Caribbean Sea. As a result of Tropical Storm Matthew, a number of national actions have been undertaken as follows. NEMO, as long as the Met Office, has issued several communication products, including press releases and SMS messages to the public. The director of NEMO has been in constant communication with the acting prime minister, as well as the acting cabinet secretary on the matter. Partial activation of the emergency operations center occurred at 7 a.m. this morning. All flights were canceled, and both the George F.L. Charles and the Iwanora International Airports were closed from 12 noon. All schools remained closed today and will remain closed through Thursday, the 29th of September, 2016. District disaster committees are monitoring the situation in their respective districts and are updating the National Emergency Management Organization on the situation. The Sufra Hospital has equipped the Environmental Health Building in, in Wingsville as an alternate site in case the hospital becomes flooded. Five persons, including three children, are currently sheltered at the Beanfield Secondary School, which has been opened as an emergency shelter. Patients have been reported to the National Emergency Operations Center, and these include reports of debris on the roadside at the Castries waterfront, a retaining wall near the Schwozel police station fell across the road and blocked that road including the drain in the area, causing water to enter that police station. The water level has risen to the bridge level at the roadway in Union. We have also received reports of flooding at Olion in Denry, as well as Bexon, Church Street in Denry, near the police station in Labry, as well as the Tamazo Bridge. With respect to the next steps, the NEMO Secretariat, along with the Met Office, will continue to monitor this situation and will continue to provide updates to the public accordingly. Residents in affected areas are asked to report flooding and damage caused by the weather system to their respective district disaster committees with photos, if possible, for onwards transmission to the NEMO Secretariat. NEMO continues to urge residents to continue listening for advisories, stay alert, and in a constant state of preparedness until the all clear is issued. The public is again reminded that the official source for information on this weather system is the Met Office and the NEMO Secretariat in St. Lucia. <laughs>